Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to speed up your PC. I'm using Windows 7, a uh, very handy little tool is the, on Windows 7 is the P CPU meter. That can be got in the start menu, go to all programs, desktop gadgets, and you'll get your list of gadgets and just click on it and drag it and throw it out in your desktop. I already have one so I don't need to. If it's always running high when idling, then you need to turn off some programs. Mine's running high right now because of my recording software. Um, so basically startup programs are things that are run, set to run when your PC boots up. So you want to go to the search bar at the bottom and type in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G but do not hit enter and then you'll see this up here and click on this so this is your so normally a PC is set up to and normally this one will be ticked if it's not been set by yourself or someone else uh, to load all devices, drivers and services so that lo basically what that is is it loads everything that's installed on your PC all, all at once once you boots up so all your applications are running and that's why your processor is running so fast if you've got like a a low end processor or, or RAM that's really going to use a lot of it up if you've got a really powerful PC it probably won't matter that much so what I've done is I ticked this box and when you tick this one just leave those two ticked and that basically is letting you decide what starts then you want to go to services you want to hide all Microsoft services you don't need to touch those and turn off the ones now that you don't want to start <coughs> now you're not deleting them you can always go back and turn them back on again if you if you decide to do that also by turning, by turning things off you can still double click on them on your desktop or something and open them it's just that they won't be running all the time when you don't need them running like Windows Media Player or something like that obviously you don't want to turn off your operating system or your antivirus software only turn off what you don't need ah uh, ok so I turned off a few things in this one the more you turn off the faster your system will run uh, this is the services but the startup ones is the big ones so basically I turned everything off here except my Microsoft uh, I think that is the actual operating system or no sidebar whatever it is so I turned off my Apple thing turned off Cyberlink the power to go born in DVD software QuickTime Player and Java now, the, now I can still click on so basically when you turn off your startup items uh, you only had apply and then OK. Then your computer will ask you to restart for the changes to take effect. Then she'll restart and the items that you turn off won't boot every time you start her up. So uh, basically that's how you do that. And as I say if you turn off like so your media player or, or like Cyberlink or director, you can still double click on it on your desktop and open it up. It's just that it won't boot all the time all these programs are running in the background and they're using up your processing or basically slowing your whole system down so if you go in there and do that go to the services and turn off the ones that you don't need and the startups and make sure this one's ticked and you're good to go you should see a big change in your computer's performance and if for it, if something wasn't working that you turned off you could always go back do the same thing and click on it and turn it back on again but as I say most of them you can just click on them and they'll open right up on your desktop all you're doing is stopping them from starting all the time you don't need all that stuff running especially if you're not using it so uh, that should really boost your computer's performance a lot and that's it thanks for watching